Yo guys, what is up? Splade here back with a new video and this is a tutorial going over on how to pretty much get any video files that you might have that you want to upload to YouTube, uh, get them and compress them to a smaller size so you can upload to YouTube faster. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while now and I just want to share this with you guys so you guys can hopefully benefit from this. And uh, yeah, so if you, uh, I've uploaded a video in the past uh, showing you how to record your screen uh, for gameplays and uh, tutorials and stuff, if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description as well as on the screen. Here, um, it's a really good tutorial. We'll show you guys how to get started on recording your computer screen and all that stuff. So, anyway, so uh, what we want to do for this tutorial is go to your internet browser here and go to this website. It'll be linked down below in the description and go ahead and just hit the download button over here. It's a really good program and I really do recommend it. So, once you have it downloaded, just go ahead and install it. And I'm just going to open up the program here. And there we go. It should look something like this. And so, what you want to do is obviously have the uh, video that you want to compress. Um, already on your computer and uh, if you make sure you have done that just go to uh, source over here click on open a single video file or uh, multiple but I'll just stick with single right now and um, just go to wherever you saved your new video or whatever video you're trying to compress so I have mine saved over here and we're going to use the GTA video right here and as you can see the size of this video currently is 1.96 gigabyte for a six minute uh, video now this typically happens with gameplay videos since they do really do quite require higher bit rates and whatnot but we're gonna really want to keep that low so we can upload to YouTube faster so I'm gonna choose this video right here and it should um, scan the video and it should be right there so uh, once you have it you want to uh, go on the destination over here and click on browse and go ahead and save it to anywhere that you want anywhere uh, save the compressed video file to wherever you want so I'm gonna save it to my desktop here and call it test we're gonna hit save and then what you want to do is where's this container make sure that is on mp4 and we're gonna check web optimized there we go all right so now on the picture tab what you want to do is make sure your source has the exact resolution of that video that you have uh, and put it here and after that where's this anamorphic modulus make sure that it's on loose too uh, make sure the cropping is on automatic and make sure you everything over here is zero 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 and that is good now we're going to move on to filters now filters is okay we don't have to mess with anything but if something's different on yours just make it how i have it and you should be good to go now we're going to go over to audio and we're going to go to uh where's this mix down select stereo and change the bitrate to 128 there you go and once you have done that you can just uh, go to chapters and it'll make a it'll check create chapter markers so you want to actually uncheck that make sure you do that so after that you want to go to video now this is where we will um, go over everything and this is really important so you have to have, uh, just follow what I do and you should be good what you want to do is make sure your video codec is on h.264 there we go uh, where's this frame rate make sure it's on same as source make sure your um, it's on variable frame rate over here and there we go now we're gonna go over to quality over here I'm gonna click on um, average bitrate once you click on average bitrate what you want to do is type in 8000 if you are planning if your video is full 1080p at 30 fps if it is something different i'll have a chart on the screen right now and uh, if you say your video is 1080p at 60 fps um, you would change that to 12000 or whatever number that you see on the screen here but i would just change that to 8000 but um, if you really really want to keep the file size low you can actually just decrease that no matter what your uh, resolution is so um, just put 8000 that's what I'm gonna do for 1080p but you can lower that if you have 720p or lower whatever um, so what we're gonna do is go to optimize video and where it says x264 preset make sure that is on very fast and if you don't if you have a really good CPU you can actually crank that up to medium or even slower the balance I found was to just leave it at fast but you can just leave it at very fast so uh, this pretty much determines how fast uh, your video is going to encode and everything over here is fine just if it's different just put none over here main uncheck that and your x264 level can actually be 4 or anything higher than 4 and it should be good anyway so um, after that you're pretty much done with everything we're gonna hit start over here and it should start encoding uh, your video and start compressing them to a smaller file size now this can take a long time depending on your computer but if you have a faster CPU again it should um, be a fast process is done it's just say like queue finished and you should have your video saved to wherever you made the destination path um, I have it over here so we're, we can actually minimize this over here and let's go over the video so as you can see this is the original video I'm going to right click properties on that and as you can see the original one is 1.696 uh, gigabyte so let's see what our new uh, file size is so this is a new one I named the test we're gonna right click go to properties here and there you go 287 megabytes um, and that is if you go to details here you can see that the uh, bitrate has been significantly lower 
and if you go to the other one here, my original one here, you can see that it went from 42,000 kilobits per second to 6,000, um, which again, it will still retain your good quality and I'll just prove that to you right now. So if we play the original one over here, minimize that, and as you can see, the quality on this looks pretty good. And, if, and then if we go and go on the new one, it should look exactly the same in most cases. So there you go, it's pretty good. And uh, there you go. So 1.96 almost 2 gigabyte file to a 287 megabyte file and that should be really fast uh, for you to upload on YouTube. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the tutorial. That's pretty much all you have to do to compress your uh, videos so you can upload them to YouTube faster. And uh, this is really, really helpful as well if you don't have the fastest internet as well. So I've been doing this, it's benefiting me, so hopefully it benefits you guys. And uh, that's pretty much it. So like the video if it helped, subscribe if you're new, uh, comment down below any questions you have or any tutorial suggestions that you want me to make. And uh, that's about it guys, so peace. <laughs>